Hey loves, and welcome back to Life with Shakisha. Guess what we're doing today? We're doing a get ready with me. Yes. So before we get into that video, I do want to welcome back all of my subscribers. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. All right, you guys. So the look that you're seeing is the look that I put together in this Get Ready With Me. I hope you enjoy it. And also, I want y'all to check out these amazing gold hoops, this monogram C necklace, and this beautiful gold bracelet that I got from Ana Luisa. Y'all, I am loving it. And these pieces um, I got in collaboration with their Valentine's Day special that they're doing. You can get 50% off for Valentine's Day. Yes, 50%. And some of their pieces start at like around $38, $40. So can you imagine getting a $40 piece for $20? For Valentine's Day for yourself or for someone that you love like it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer and like these hoops I love them so much they have these backings that are perfect for my ears because my little brother slit my earlobe when he was a little kid when he's been you know I used to wear big hoop earrings still do um, but these are perfect because they're big enough for me to turn them so it'll keep them from coming out most traditional backings are so small, so they fall right out or either go all the way through. But these earrings are perfect. And this necklace is so adorable. Look at that. See for Chikisha. But yeah, I probably got it on backwards. I don't know. But I'm loving this. I probably will not take it off. Um, I'm going to probably wear this all the time. Um, and these hoops, again, these are perfect for everyday wear. Or even if this is just your style um to wear smaller hoop earrings these are perfect um they don't go around completely they just have like this little c c for chikisha right <laughs> um but these are amazing so it just pulled together the look um i'm just feeling gold especially on my skin tone i feel like gold is a nice um metal to rock like i used to do silver but this right here is like everything yeah so let's go ahead and get into this get ready with me listen i am no professional when it comes to makeup i'm just starting myself so judge your makeup not mine okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into the video yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. all right love so we're gonna get straight into this get ready with me this is my first time ever doing something like this i am not a beauty professional by any means i'm still a major 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 <laughs> beginner when it comes to this so but i've wanted to do this because i need to film a actual serious sit down video and um like y'all already know, like I tell y'all all the time, um, when I'm doing like sit down, focused, structured videos, I like to have on a full face, just because it's a whole thing. It's like, for me, I feel like it's not covered my flaws because y'all done seen my vlogs and I have looked at a hot mess because that, to me, that's the point of a vlog, showing your real life and how it is, how it is. But, um, and if you see me like looking off, I got a mirror here. I'm gonna try to see how to do this. But um, but yeah, so while I am doing my makeup, um, also gonna give just a little bit of life updates. Y'all see the gray hair. Uh, <laughs> just give y'all some life updates. Um, and some of this will also be included in the actual sit down video. Um, a lot of changes are happening some good some sad um but i do believe that god has the final say and that 
what may feel like it could be the end of something is only a season of dormancy. Um, because if y'all know I'm a plant mom and if y'all know anything about like plants and harvesting and gardening and things like that, you do have those seasons where it looks like it ain't doing nothing, but in that ground is doing all the things that it needs to do to produce the best harvest that it ever produced. And I truly feel like this possible season of um, dormancy is not the end of the beautiful fruit that God has called the fruit to be. Okay, let's just start there. So <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of this iced coffee. I just descaled my Nespresso. And y'all, this Get Ready With Me is similar to my vlog style. It's uncut. I got a pile of larger over there. You see all some extra film and stuff. My husband's trophies and his jerseys. Y'all know, even though he claimed I kicked him out this room, this is still half of the G room, <laughs> regardless if he <laughs> uses it or not. But anyway, so I just decanted my, um, not decanted, descaled my Nespresso. So I'm gonna see how it tastes now that it has been descaled. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to do this quarterly. The young lady that I was following, um, Megan Grace, she has an amazing channel. So if y'all are into Nespresso and she has the same Nespresso machine that I have, the Nespresso, um, what is it, Ventra? The one with the V. We got the same one. So um, go follow her and I'll leave her link um, below as well as on the screen. But let's see how it tastes now that I've decanted it. I don't know why I keep saying decanted. Well, <laughs> I've just scaled it. Hold on. Mmm. Y'all, this is the best one I have made. So this is a caramel iced latte. I use two different espresso pods because I'm trying to kind of like get rid of some of the pods that I don't know if I'm going to like or not. But I use two of the espresso pods from the Starbucks um, line. I got the blonde roast and then I forgot the other one and I don't have any more of them. If I can check, I'll let y'all know in the comments which one they, it was. But what I did was I add caramel at the bottom and I did my little fancy caramel thing. You can't tell now. I know I'm gonna get ready to get into the get ready with me because this is actually super late. <laughs> but I put caramel at the bottom and then I kind of coated the whole glass with it. Then I put the ice in there and then I poured vanilla syrup. I think I might have did maybe one and a half, maybe two teaspoons, I'm not sure. I eyeballed it. And then I used the Planet Oats Vanilla Creamer. And I think I'm gonna start using the Planet Oats just for my lattes. Um, for my coffees, when I want more froth, I'm gonna have to probably make my own because I just have not found an oat milk that is frothing for me. But anyway, so then I did the two pods because the Starbucks ones are on like one point something ounces, which equals two shots when you use two. So I did two shots of that. And y'all, this joint is bomb. This is the best ice latte I've made. And I'm only drinking it so late because I want to make sure that I can get everything filmed and then I'll work on, um, I'll work on, uh, What is that I'm trying to say? <laughs> I will work on getting everything edited and hopefully posted by the Friday and by Sunday. I think the get ready with me will probably be posted on Sunday because I'm part of my um, other content. Well, no, this one, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out because I have some a collab that I'm doing with Anna Luis. Um, Luis's line. And while I'm on here, let me show you what I got from her. Um, so y'all know that everything about her line is just, well, I say a, her, but you know, cause it is Anna, right? <laughs> but everything about the line is just amazing. Um, I'll go into more details about the actual product and I'll probably do that in my sit down video because this is just kind of fun and different, but I'm so excited. I kind of wanted the dog tags, but I didn't get it, but I got a gold chain with the letter C or gold necklace. 
Um, I got all gold. Um, then I have this gold bracelet. Y'all, and my wrist is this small. <laughs> And then I got these gold hoop earrings, which are perfect because I don't have like a, I have a smaller pair, but they're chunkier. And then all my hoops are big. So this is a nice everyday gold hoop. Um, now, hopefully the backs will fit because this earlobe right here, when my oldest little brother was younger, and this is when I was a senior in high school, um, my dad used to take me to school every day. And while I'm talking, I'm gonna just start doing my makeup. Um, and I'll link everything that I'm using below. I'm about to put on some primer. This is the Fenty Pro Matte. This is the True Matte Pro Filter. It's a mattifying primer um, because I don't like my makeup to look shiny, so I love matte. But anyway, so when my dad used to pick me up in the evenings from school, uh, my little brother would be in the car seat because my dad had a pickup truck. So all three of us was in the front and <laughs> he would uh, pull my earrings. And I've always loved wearing hoop earrings. So he would put those on and I'm not doing any moisturizer or anything like that because after I film, I am taking all of this off. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to try to make sure I put everything so I can see it. So, yeah, so here's the pull on my earrings all the time. Um, and it's funny because he was in the middle. You would think he would pull on the left one, but I guess it was the way I was like facing him and he would always pull my right one. I wonder if you, well, I doubt if you remember because he was like in a car seat. I don't even think he was one years old yet. Um, but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> so he used to pull on my ears, earrings all the time. So I... Okay, I did everything but put the foundation. Hold on, I'll be back. <coughs> All right, I'm back. So yeah, so he used to always pull on my earrings and thus why I have this larger split ear hole. And I think they said you can get them sewed up. I don't know, I might think about that. But it's no biggie. Um, so I like to, normally I like to start with my eyebrows, but I'm always like kind of messing them up. So we're going to start with our concealer and my concealer is pretty much what I'm going to use to cover my whole face. And then I'll do a, um, mineral powder to finish. And this is e.l.f. This is their hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish. And this is in deep chestnut. Um, but I don't know where this came from, but anyway, so like I said, I'm an amateur at this. So a lot of the makeup tips and tricks that I've learned is from watching Andrea Renee and I'll link her stuff and I'm not doing this all neat like how everybody else does, but I do want to eventually go to Sephora to get more of a or my battery gonna die. Yeah. I do want to go to Sephora and get a better color match because I don't know what my true color is because like I said I just got into really doing makeup and as you can see I'm not doing it all nice and neat like how everybody else do. They make their nice little shapes and stuff. I mean, this looks really orangey. And that's what I don't like. I forgot to wet my sponges. Hold, oh, please. I'm trying to fix my light so it won't look so bright. And I should have put on chapstick. But anyway, so yeah, I follow her. And she's helped me a lot to figure out how to really apply makeup. and also how to um, use different products that I never thought that I would use. And which once I blend this all in, it doesn't look bad, but I still don't like that orange undertone. And I really don't know what my true undertone is, but I don't think it's this. 
and I say orange and orange is probably not even the undertone again I know about hair stuff but makeup stuff it's probably all the same but I um I don't know I uh don't know much and I would like to take a makeup class or at least go to a makeup artist just to have them show. And again, if I'm looking off to the side, it's because it's less light. But yeah, but for me, I feel like this is just a little got too much maybe red or orange undertones. I don't know. But as you can see, I probably am not blending it completely the right way. But I know everything's supposed to be blended out. So that's what I'm like going. And so I really like doing the concealer. Hold on. I like doing the concealer all over versus just as spot, spot because I like a very minimal makeup look. I'm getting foundation all on this. And I'm gonna wash this wig because this is like, a, this is my Auntie Mama wig. And like I told y'all when I first got her, I did a lot of wrong things to it. But now that I know what I know, I'm gonna wash her so I can get some of this, cause I used the wrong color concealer in the part. And I probably didn't really have to use concealer um, on this particular wig. But again, I was just kind of doing what everybody else did, trying to figure out like I said, I have my hairstyles, but I don't deal with weaves or extensions or anything like that. So, and like I said, this doesn't, it isn't bad. I just feel like, and you can see the, like the, can you see like the red in there? So this definitely has to have red undertones. Um, I think I need more maybe beige or tan if there's such a thing. And I have some other ones, like I bought quite a few of them. But I feel like they were too light. So I'm out of Makeup Forever by Mario's Brow Pencil, in which I absolutely love that brow pencil, y'all. Like, I thought that I liked um, this Benefits one, in which I do. But I have to apply a lot more pressure with that Makeup by Forever brow pencil. It's skinny. And then it just, I don't have to like, I feel like I gotta, yeah. So now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna pull out the mirror. So if I'm, if I'm not looking at y'all, you know, charge it to my heart. And plus this mirror lets me see. And again, I'm not a full coverage kind of gal, but we're gonna make it do what it do today. And I don't get my eyebrows arched because as you can see, I really don't have eyebrows. Let's try to keep this from uh, getting unfocused because I'm filming in um, what is it? cinematic, Cin one of the most. But yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm a master, but I've been doing my brows for so long. Um but like I said, I mean I don't not like this one now, this benefits brow, and I'll link like I said, I'm gonna link everything that I'm using, but I really love the makeup by Forever One a lot better. Just because I don't have to really do a lot. So let's see how I can do this eyebrow. Cause I got the wrong mirror. This is like got this stand right here and it's getting in my way but yeah I try to start with my right brow first since that one has less structure my left brow in which that's what I'm working on now I have this in selfie mode so of course the way y'all are looking at it it looks one way but yeah but my left brow has more um, shape to it so I really don't have to 
um, build as much as I have to do with my right one. But like I said, this mirror is in my way and it's messing me up because I am right-handed. It's always harder for me to do this side because like with this, my arm is like that. This, I have to go this way. And then plus I have my boobs are in the way. So, and whatever I mess up, I'll clean with concealer. Like I said, this is definitely, don't be looking at this video as an instruction of video to help you, not unless you want to <laughs> see how beginners that don't know what they're doing do their eyebrows. <laughs> All right, so I've, this is what I've been using ever since I've been um, ran out of the MAC. Um, I use the MAC concealer, the little round one and the N45, but they don't, well, I haven't seen, I went on the website, they don't have the M45. Y'all look like real orange. They don't have the M45. And my husband hate. He's like, oh, you look orange. He hates orange. I'm going to just look away. Because it's just easier for me to do certain things. Look it in the mirror versus the camera. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Therefore, I don't know what I'm doing. I ain't going to say that. But I've been using this since I ran out. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Um, and it's a corrective um, and this is in the shade Mahogany and the letters is CSWS C16. So yeah, this is Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And Shea Budgets actually put me on to Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I actually have some setting powder by them too. Um, now I used to use like an ankle brush, but I've grown fond of this Morphe brush. Um, this is an M709. Can you see? Because I like the way it's kind of got a tip, but then it's like rounded on the sides. So I'm going to just, I should just go get my other mirror because I don't think, oh no. I think my house labs have a mirror. Yep. This will be a lot better, yes. So now y'all can see me a little better. So then I just kind of, go under and just carefully try to create like a straight line under the brow to clean it up and to also have some of these hairs <laughs> that I didn't tweeze. And then once I do that, see, and then I just kind of bring it down to blend it in so it won't have that line of demarcation. And that is one similarity to hair and makeup. You always want to avoid lines of demarcation. <laughs> okay, so while I'm on here, like I said, just giving y'all some life updates. Um, as most of you know and have been following me, I have been dealing with psoriasis and seriotic arthritis. Um, and it's been... It's been a journey and I'm not gonna go, go, go too much into detail because like I said, I'm be doing a sit down video that's gonna kind of be going through a lot of different things in more detail. And that one will probably be posted on Sunday. So you'll probably see the get ready with me, this video before you see that one. So this is just kind of like a little spoiler, a little teaser. So my brows are good. And and yes, I'm gonna clean the foundation up off of my lips once I do my lipstick. Um, and I'm gonna do, when I did my birthday reel, everybody was like, oh my gosh, how did you do your lipstick like that? So I'm gonna do my lipstick that same way. And I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm in my nose, but every time I do my makeup, my nose runs. Is anybody else like that? And y'all, these clips, I should have got some bigger ones, but I got these off of Amazon. These are good if you are a makeup person or if you're cleaning your face to pull your hair, your weave out the way. So now I'm going to go in. I like to do my eyeliner 
first before I do anything else because I have to, I don't know how to do <laughs> eyeliner just like that. I just put it on my waterline, old school. That's how I've always done it. And this is Maybelline Define. This is Ebony Black. Anything other than my brows. My brows are like, let me see, what is this? This is... Take number six, which is not, it's like a dark brown. But that's the only thing liner wise that I do not um, do that's black. My eyeliner is black and my mascara be black. So y'all just go on my water line and I like to do that before I do my setting powder and anything else because I have to put my I just have to, that's how I'm used to doing it. And that's how I always do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Laura Mercier setting powder that, again, Andrea Renee put me on to because I was using Can't Stop, Won't Stop, which is nothing wrong with that, but you know what I'm saying? So I just got these little cute little things off of Amazon. I be seeing all the girls that be doing their makeup with, use these so i was like let me Ooh, that was like a lebron i was like let me do this because it looks like the it, the setting powder oh yes <gasps> the scent powder goes on so much better because i was using my sponge and it was like i was not getting enough coverage it'll just be like kind of spotty so this setting powder, I just kind of do it along the same place that I did my concealer starting off with it. And like I said, this is by Lauren Mercier and this is their translucent setting powder. So it doesn't matter. Well, I ain't gonna say that. Don't, I ain't gonna give you no tips cause I don't know nothing, <laughs> but I got this, ooh, ooh, I get this from Sephora. And like I said, I'm gonna link every single thing that I'm using. Um, and if I don't, I have my magic links link below that has everything that I use. So if I don't, or if you forget, just click that magic links link and it'll take you to my whole profile so you can have access to everything. And I feel like this setting, the setting powder makes the makeup looks looks so much better so now what i'm gonna go ahead and do i got this elf contour palette this is the cream contour palette and i'm going to take my elf contour or complexion brush i'm gonna take i have it's the double sided and yes i need to clean my brushes because i don't be knowing what to clean my brushes with I just pulled up something on YouTube that I was going to look at because I've tried the stuff that you buy and all of that stuff and it just don't work for me. Um, we're using my, and this is a bronzer. I have, I think I probably end up using the contour that's on here because I left my other, my Clinique chubby contour stick that I love to use. Um, but I want to just use this since it's here because I don't want to get up anymore. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just to kind of take this and go down from my side of my eyebrow to the corner of my nose just a little bit. And this just kind of gives you more shape or structure to your nose, I guess. I don't know. But I saw my girl do it and I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna take the, where is the at? Y'all, I tried to like put my little stuff together, but obviously it ain't work out. So I don't know what that is, but this is, like I said, the e.l.f. The e.l.f. Con 
um, complexion duo. Um, so I'm going to just go right here with the contour. I'm going to use the same color. I'm using this color right here. And I'm just going to kind of go like this. And this could be wrong. I don't know. But this is what works for me. And I'm going to go here on my jawline. So I'll go up here. All right. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sponge again, but I'm going to use the flat side and I'm going to just blend all of this out. And this just kind of helps, you know, like I said, set everything make everything looks less the setting powder just make everything um in my opinion less oily looking and give you more of a matte kind of finish and what i was supposed to do was do my eyeshadow so whatever fell on that fell on that so I'm going to use, this is an old palette. This is a MAC palette. This is Amber Times 9. Don't know if they still have it. I will try to find it. If it is, I will link it. Um, but I never really like a super bold eye. I just like enough to look so it won't look. I just feel like when you're doing full makeup, regardless if it's like how I'm doing or you're doing like foundation and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you got to have eyeshadow. So I'm going to start with this one right here. I've never used this one. So we're going to start with, no. I'm going to start with this one first to get into my creases. And I'm using a Morphe brush. This is the M504. And I'm going to use this for everything. So I'm just going to go in like this. This is a nice fluffy brush. And y'all, I don't even know how old this <laughs> eyeshadow is, but yeah. So anyway, back to the psoriasis. So I have been doing much better. I do still have a lot of um, some areas where it's left a lot of dark marks. And I do still have some like um, what they call plaque psoriasis, which is the more build up in which Let's see if you can see. So like this, this is plaque. So I have, I'm kind of forming like the plaque psoriasis at this point. But I do have, my nights are a lot less itchy. <laughs> I do have a lot and I just wipe my brush off since I'm using the same brush. Um, I don't have as many itchy nights, but I do still have a lot. Um, and I will tell you this. It's hard to go through something like that, especially when it's dealing with how you look on the outside um, and not and have it not affect you. Mentally, of course, physically, um, it's hard when you have a spouse, significant other, because not only are you worried about yourself, you're then also worried about, you know, well, do they still, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm going to tell you, when I first started going through it, all I wanted to do was sleep. That's all I wanted to do was sleep. All right. And like I said, I'm not a makeup um, expert, so do not come for me in my comments. Because I know how y'all do, people. I already put the disclaimer. This is not a professional makeup tutorial. All right. So now I'm going to go through and this is what I wanted to use. This is a Sephora number 70. This is a foundation brush. And I wanted to try to use that to blend in my concealer that I use as somewhat a foundation, but I forgot. 
so yeah so i'm gonna go back through because i forgot my blush brush and my bronzer brush i'm just gonna wipe the cream off on this one listen this is do what you can do makeup video <laughs> So I'm gonna take a little bit of blush just to add some color back because now, like right now, I'm just looking like flat. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying with the psoriasis, when you are in a relationship, and this is the e.l.f. powder blush palette, and this also has um, it's vegan free and cruelty free if you want to know. So I'm gonna use this one right here. Um, but yeah, but when you are in a relationship, you know, it makes it hard because you want to make sure that they're not um, missing out. But on the same token, like you also got to, you know, get your rest in order to get better. And when it affects you mentally, it's even harder because... When I looked at myself in the mirror, I was just like, who would want to be with me? I don't want to be with myself right now. So who would want to be with me? <laughs> so it was it was hard in that aspect. Um, you know, but thank God that I married a man of God. You know, I'm putting on the House of Labs um, bronzer, just a little bit underneath the blush. Like I said, I'm probably ain't doing this right at all, y'all. But we make it do what it do. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just kind of going over my face with it. Cause I'm gonna use my mineral powder as like my finishing powder. Um, but yeah, it was hard. It was definitely hard because Me looking at myself, I was just like, I just want to be by myself. I don't want to be bothered. You know, I had to pray every day. Um, I worked every day, regular schedule. I didn't cancel any appointments. So I was going in there like my hands was all messed up. Knee, wrist, ankle swollen so big. I could barely walk. Like my clients felt bad. They was like, do you need to cancel or reschedule? I'm like, no, I'm good. But I wasn't my face. Like once you, I'm gonna include some photos on my actual full video. But my face, everything. So I used my mask covered all of this, and then I wore my denim hat that came down. So all you could really see is my eyes. Um, so you couldn't really tell what was going on under the mask. Um, but it was it was only by the grace of God that I got through that. And like I said. My husband, I thank him for being understanding and supportive because a lot of times, a lot of men would use that as an excuse to dip and dodge, girl. That's why I was like, you got to you gotta get yourself right. Do what it is that you're supposed to do. So when God is ready for your Boaz to find you, he will find you. And listen, we go through a lot. And it's only by the grace of God and our relationship, our individual relationship with God that has kept us thus far. So, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot to put on my powder. This is why, I like, I want to see how people do get ready with me and put on their makeup. Because I am all over the place. And the lighting is not giving, but it's okay. So, this is... a. Uh, beauty supply brush this is ruby kisses this is the mineral powder um sharika b on youtube another one of my faves she had um mentioned that she had bought this let's see and this is number three honey brown i bought the number 14 this is number 13 i bought number 14 that i wasn't really sure and i mean it was like under ten dollars I don't even think it was over $5. I'm not sure. But they do have it on Amazon, so I will link this as well. All right, so, yeah. So, it is important who you marry. 
you know ladies don't just marry people because they can give you all the money and all of that stuff because when real life hits if you're not with a man of god and a man that loves you it's gonna be hell getting through those tough times because don't get it twisted you know what i'm saying People see things and they just appear that people's relationships are perfect or people don't go through things. But we are human. Even though we're men and women of God, me and my husband, we still go through things that we go through. However, we know that God is in the midst of this. And we know the reason why we got married and it wasn't for superficial things. It was for till death do us part. So I'm using this telescopic lift. And again, everything will be backwards because I am doing selfie mode. Um, but this is that one that went viral on TikTok and everybody's been, ooh, ooh. Everybody has been coming for the young lady talking about, oh, it is a sponsored video. And um, I don't know how I got eyeliner on my face. It is a sponsored video. Those are false lashes that you have on. Listen. They might have been false lashes on her, but it looked good on me. And I normally am a big advocate of Bad Girl Bang. I love Bad Girl Bang. It is by Benefits. I have been rocking with that ever since I seen, um, I think Octavia, Octavia B. Um, on youtube and on instagram she was using it and i was like and when she showed how little her eyelashes were and then i was like oh i gotta have it um she's still that girl but this is that girl um y'all see my eyelashes i don't have nothing on right now and so it has um a flat side here and then you have like the curved side so i think you're supposed to do the flat side first to pull them out I still haven't figured it out and I'm pretty sure they got directions to it. Um, and the girl on her tutorial, she did say something about it, but look, you can already see the difference. Like, I don't care if it, like for me, they don't have to look like false eyelashes. I just like to have my eyelashes extended. And if I could wear a mascara that can do that for me, I mean, just look. If I can find a mascara that does that for me without me having to struggle with putting on eyelashes, that's the mascara for me. So, I've talked enough about the psoriasis and stuff, you know. Because again, this is get ready with me, chit chat, just shooting the breeze with you all. And I think we're almost at 30 minutes. Well, probably longer because I think I had stopped and had to go get some things. And I feel like I always do this side better with my mascara. And I do this side better with my eyebrow, <laughs> which is the weirdest thing ever. Um, but yeah, so speaking of YouTube, so I have been enjoying doing vlogs. Um, most of you know I started out as a planner YouTuber. So those of you that has been following me since I've been doing vlogs, I've been on here for quite a while. And with that, as I started to really figure out my planner style, and I realized that using paper planners, y'all look at this. Cause somebody look at this. The cat is drinking milk out of the bowl. Anyway, <laughs> when I stopped really when I really realized like, okay, me doing the planner videos and then still having the plan, it was not effective for me. So, but I enjoy filming and I decided to start doing vlogs simply because I'm a woman in my forties. I'm almost 50, I'm in my last year of my forties. And I felt that there was no true representation of women of my age and that there wasn't a true representation of women my age that 
was like me, but was a woman of God that represented that, you know, even though I'm a woman of God, I can still have fun. I can still do certain things, but I have to do them mindful and I have to make sure the things that I'm doing are not controlling me and not becoming an idol because I only worship one God and that is God, the Father, the beginning, the end, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, y'all, my makeup don't look too bad, right? So I'm gonna go in with this um, Charlotte Tilbury press powder, but first I'm going to, um, I'm gonna use this NYX, NYX, whatever y'all call it, matte finishing spray. I have an e.l.f. one, but I just was kind of like just grabbing some stuff because this is coming off as soon as I get out, um, finish filming the main video. But, um, yeah, I, I was just like, I, I didn't see women that were like me. Also, it's a lot of content creators that I absolutely love, but you know, a lot of this stuff was, you know, showing like a lot of sponsored stuff and a lot of luxury stuff and all that stuff is good. Like I love a good sponsored opportunity and I love a good luxury item. However, those are, that's not my everyday, if that makes sense. Like I don't have to walk around for Louis Gucci as my everyday bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, you know, where are the people like me that just work as an entrepreneur, that's a woman of God, love their family, you know, loving on themselves. Where's the, those people where I can still be like, okay, sis, all right, woman of God, you know what I'm saying? Because I think a lot of times people think that once you are a believer in Jesus Christ or your Lord and Savior, they think that you have to wear, you know, button ups to your neck, stockings, pantyhose, and all of that stuff. And the word of God doesn't say that. So that's why I really was like, let me start vlogging. And now that y'all are starting to like really like it, it's been some opposition <laughs> against it as well. Hold on, let me spray. I wish I had my fan in here. But while this is drying, I will wipe my lips off and talk to y'all. So, um, yeah, so one thing about me and my channel, anything that I do outside of um outside of YouTube, that has precedence. And now all I'm doing is just pressing the setting powder in. I mean the setting spray. Um, yeah, so I might be taking a hiatus because I had the conversation, me and my husband had the conversation about, you know, me and YouTube and some other things. And, you know, sometimes when you get so into the things that you're doing, it can cause you to be distracted and lose focus. And I'm not gonna say that I was distracted and lost focus, but I feel like because I always, when I'm doing something, I'm trying to give it my all. And it has somewhat derailed the plan that we have had together. And I never want anything that I do individually that I started doing after, cause I didn't start doing YouTube until after we were married. So it wasn't like he met me and I was doing YouTube. I was just an entrepreneur, just doing hair, you know, that's the person he met. So as I got involved in this, it was an adjustment. Cause like, okay, you doing that? When are you doing this? And you know what I'm saying? We both had a come to Jesus moment. So I may be taking a hiatus because God has been wrestling with me and all of the messages, signs and wonders that I have been receiving from God comes before anybody. What God is telling me comes before anybody. My mama, my daddy, my husband, anybody. And he does not want me to let this go. 
and I can't and I won't. But I will take a hiatus just so I can kind of figure things out, balance them out. Um, not sure. I won't be stopping my short film content because that stuff is like easy peasy. But when I'm vlogging, as y'all can see, my vlogs be so long as I'm vlogging. It does take a lot of time. I do have to, you know, edit and all that stuff. And then for me, I like to, you know, do, um, you know, transitions and green screen layovers and stuff like that. So I have to find balance. God is telling me. You gotta just lay dormant for a while. So I'm not going anywhere permanently, but you may just see less of me. And I mean, who knows, that might change. But as of now, I don't really have, I'm not, I'm not gonna say when, but it may be happening sooner than later. Um, but like I said, it will be just a sabbatical just a sabbatical so now i'm going to go in with this charlotte tiber and this is like the little mini size that i got when sephora was having their sale because charlotte tiber is a little pricey this is considered a luxury makeup item i wanted to try it out before i invested that kind of money in it so all i'm gonna do is just go through and it's um it's like a finishing powder so i just go through like on my under my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit i use this just to put it on areas that i want to brighten up Just a little bit down the nose. So yeah. All right, I should have put on some chapstick, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna just show y'all this little lip situation that everybody keep talking about. Oh my gosh, I want a tutorial. Hold on. I gotta use my other set of hands. <laughs> my feet. All right, let me see if I can zoom in. All right. All I did, and I need a new one. This joint is so old. If you know, you know. It's so old, it don't even have the little tip on it no more. <laughs> but this is the Chestnut Classic Matte Lip Liner. All I did, and this is the old school. Uh-oh. Uh I got something on my teeth. I hope I had none in my teeth the whole time, and y'all ain't tell me. That's embarrassing, but I ain't gonna really film it because this is life with Keisha. Life happens. So yeah, so um, y'all look at these lashes. Y'all can't tell me. I don't care what y'all say about the girl. If you don't have no lashes, you go from no lashes to this. But anyway, so all I did was let's go back to the old school chapstick. <laughs> I just took the lip liner and I just did it really thick so i take the point and i lay it at the tip at the edge of my lip and i already kind of have a natural lip line um but i do it flat so the tip will outline the lip and the flat part will kind of fill in um so if anything that's the only thing that i'm a master of is my lips And I naturally, like I said, my lip lines naturally have like that little dip right there. Not everybody has that. I know some people just will go over it, but I like the little heart shape. That means I got lips that love. <laughs> so see how thick it is? And then I just go through. So with my bottom, I don't use the tip for the bottom. I just use the flat side on the bottom so I get more coverage. But I make sure that this part, uh -oh, the lowest part hits right at my lip line. And then I go down and I leave it just like that. And then I start the new side. So in retrospect, I'm actually uh -uh, making a heart shape. You see? 
it's like a heart shape now however your lips are shaped you do it like that but i keep this little part thinner the bottom is thinner than the sides so then all i do is just kind of go like that me, 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 me. And and I just use like a pink ish color um lipstick. This one right here is syrup. And again, these are all MAC products. Ooh, I think I gotta throw this one away. Yeah, it's time to throw her away. Womp, womp, womp. But I didn't want it super pink today. But this is the color. I'm gonna have to get another one because I really like this one. And all I did was just kind of. I'm trying to tissue. I'll just kind of put it right there. Just like a little dot. Just like this. And I'll say, me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all I did. And everybody liked it. It's kind of like, I guess, an ombre look. But the one that I did for my birthday was more matte. This one got a little more shine to it. Um, yeah, that's all I did. Yes, okay, Keisha, yes. All right, so. take these clips out so i do need to i want to i'm gonna wash this wig tomorrow and put some more layers in it just on this side but y'all this is like i said i think i said this in my other video this is the best hair the best wig that i got from them because it's full the curls i have not curled this thing since the last video that I wore and I cut it because I think I had it on and it was long and I was like, y'all, I'm going to cut this wig. And then when I came back, I cut it. So yeah, so I'm going to go through and just add some layers here tomorrow just so I can get some more body because it's just kind of just straight. This side is pretty much fine. But yeah. So this is the look and I'm going to put on my Anna Louise accessories and I'm going to film my my video and I know I've probably been looking all over the place this is a new style of video for me um and, and let me know if y'all like it in the comments let me know if you like my makeup and I will see you guys in the next one but before I go regardless of if this hiatus is going to be short or long i want y'all to still follow your girl make sure you go ahead and click this video um well not click it but make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because whether i am doing long film content or short you're gonna always get something from your girl also i am on instagram and tiktok i am probably going to start dibbling and dabbling in pinterest but just not right now um but follow me on all of my social media platforms everything is life with chakisha um and also you know please listen if y'all don't want me to go nowhere help my videos you know get in that algorithm but you know i don't i got god god is my algorithm he is all right love so thank you for tuning into the get ready with me i hope y'all enjoyed it um, listen, I did what I could do. I did the best that I could do. I just did. Um, but I think I did pretty good. What you think? What you think? And you know, it blends in pretty good with my skin. So I didn't put any on my neck because, you know, I just did this look to do a sit down video in which you'll probably see that on Sunday. I don't know which one you're going to see first. Um, but I'm loving the look and I'm also loving these pieces from Ana Luisa. Y'all make sure y'all check that site out. 
if you are watching this video after the Valentine's Day sale, you can still get 20% off if you use the code that I link here below. And I'll leave all of the details in the description box because these pieces are amazing. I got my first um, pieces from them last year. And when I say that they are still holding up and they're gold, a lot of time you get gold um, items and they start to tarnish or either turn silver, those pieces are still gold. Go, go, go. So I can't wait to see how this necklace does because I, like I said, I probably won't take it off. So it's gonna be on when I'm showering. So I can't wait to give you an update on how this does. Um, I've seen the reviews and people said that they take showers with them all the time and they don't have any issues with fading. So I hope that that's it because listen, with these nails, it was a struggle to try to get them on <laughs> because the hubs were asleep. So I couldn't ask them to put this on for me, but this is staying on. Um, it's a dog tag one that I really want that I might get as well. But yeah, um, if you want to see like a full unboxing and a more up close and personal look at these pieces, make sure you follow me on social media. I will post that on Instagram, TikTok, and on my YouTube shorts. Um, and everything is Life of Jakeisha. And then make sure y'all also, again, check out the link below to Anna Luisa's sale, 50% off jewelry. They have silver, they have gold, and they have pieces that have like pearls in it, different color gems. I believe they got something for everybody and they got a ring. You can put a ring on it yourself. Where's my ring? Anyway, don't tell the hubs I don't got my ring on. But they have every piece of jewelry that you could possibly be looking for. So make sure you check them out. So again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my videos. Until next time, loves. Peace.